Okay, we're here with patient Christy. She just got done having her uh, PRP injections here. Um, she has a history of knee pain. Would you like to kind of elaborate and tell us what was going on with your knee? Yeah, um, it was swollen, um, painful to touch, to walk. It felt like it was locked and tight. Um, we tried massage, we tried physical therapy, and um, I'm not ready to do anything too evasive yet, so doc recommended this. Yeah. So we, we did do an x-ray of her knee. Her knee joint space looks really good. Uh, nice thick joint space, which is what we want to see. Uh, her kneecap had a little bit of spurring around the outsides, so I kind of diagnosed her with a patellar tracking problem, which simply means her kneecap is not uh, positioned in the middle like it should be. When we did a diagnostic ultrasound, we found that she had quite a bit of swelling um, on the outside of her thigh here and then also at the top of the kneecap. So that's a sign that there is some tissue damage in that area. Um, but everything else checked out okay. Her meniscus is checked out, her ligaments checked out. So we know it's not something internal, it's more external. So that's why I came to the conclusion of doing some PRP on her because the growth factors in that PRP will help heal that and help speed up the healing process as well. And that's also the nice thing about diagnostic ultrasound is you can get that uh, injection exactly into the tissue that needs to be uh, uh, healed. And also uh, you can look at uh, some of the other structures and tissues and rule out what isn't involved or what isn't uh, injured, which is good, it's important. All right, anything else you'd like to add? Um, no. Um, no well, downtime, right? Uh, no downtime at all on this. Uh, if she were to have stem cells, then we would do a bracing of that, and there would be some downtime. And the reason I did not choose stem cells with her is because I thought her joints looked really good, and I thought PRP is a, was a better choice for a soft tissue injury. Um, and we numb it up beforehand, and uh, that's probably the worst part of it. That was the, the, the worst part. The initial sticks of the needle with the yep. numbing. Uh, using some lidocaine and some epi um, and then after that you know it's fairly easy process yeah it was it, it that part of it did not hurt at all um like he said the numbing is the worst part of it um mm -hmm. it's still kind of numb i'm gonna take it easy today and see what tomorrow brings yep so and then we'll follow up with her in a couple weeks and hopefully she's uh skipping along in a couple weeks awesome so, all right well that will sign off thanks